everybody. Uh, welcome to my next video. <laughs> Before I give you that video, I wanted to tell you that in the next few days, I'm going to be talking about some things that are very personal to me. Maybe I should have been out here in the van life a long time ago, and I'm going to tell you why. These things are really hard to talk about. And one of my friends came to me and said, Tim, probably you should tell people what's going on in your life. And maybe other people are suffering some things as well. So hang in there in the next few days. I'm going to spill the beans. And here is my next video. Bye. I spent the day at Embassy Suites in Denver, Colorado. My spiritual group was having an event there. So that gave me rights to go in and look around. My friends, Jimmy and Selena, served as models for me and gave me an excuse to swing my camera all throughout the complex. I have my own high-priced hotel room. I used to spend a lot of time in places like Embassy Suites. In fact, there was one in New Orleans that was one of my favorites. But when I went into the van life, things really had to change. I used to really stretch to be able to go to places like this and spend my money. It was not easy to do. And I came back from every trip with huge credit card debt. Now, I can go in and look around for free. And when I walk out the door, I don't know any more money than when I walked in. One of my friends asked me, don't you miss this lifestyle? Don't you miss all this opulence and being able to live like the life of Riley? And my response was, I've been there and I've done that. And there are two sides to that kind of life. One side is, well, you sure get to live in some nice places. But the other side is, you have to make huge sacrifices to be able to live this kind of life. I've decided I don't want to make those sacrifices anymore. Instead, I want to have the freedom to travel, to see the world, to not feel like I can't have a nice meal because I'm so short of money. I want to live my life right now. This bicycle trip took me over four months. No fancy hotels out here. I love traveling to see new places and having new adventures and meeting new people. And I don't have to stay in swanky hotels to get that done. Some of the places I go don't have swanky hotels, but they're really remote. Places that you wouldn't normally get to see, way off the beaten path. Something that is really special to me, off the beaten path. In fact, Living in a van has given me the ability to do a lot of traveling that I couldn't really afford to do before because I'm not spending money, let's say 150 to 250 a night in fancy hotels. There's nothing wrong with it if you have the dough. But for me, I had to make some choices. I've been there and I've done that. And for those who need to be there and do it, that's fine. But for me, it's time to move on. Well, thanks to Jimmy and Selena for being such good hosts. It's not that I can't stay at places like this. Rather, let's just say I do it in a different way. How much time did I spend waiting around to live my dreams? Sure, I had these nice vacations once in a while. But I wasn't living the lifestyle that I really wanted to live. The lesson here, for me, I can't say for you, but the lesson for me is don't wait. Tomorrow might never come. I used to think I should wait until I had enough resources, enough money, to do the opulent things in life, to live the life of luxury that so many people have told me I need to have. I still want to go traveling and see all those wonderful places, that hasn't changed. But what has changed is what is luxury. 
I no longer need to go to a luxury hotel in order to feel like I've succeeded in my life of travel. I can find that luxury in many places. For example, on the side of the road in Malibu, or in the parking lot of the range at Slab City, listening to music all night long, or at the RTR, the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, the gathering of nomads in the desert. You won't find any luxury hotels out there, but it certainly was a luxury to be able to go out and spend time with my fellow travelers. So in short, what's changed is me. What's changed is my definition of success. What's changed is my definition of luxury. And the lesson I've learned is, do it now. Don't wait. Tomorrow is another day, and you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. If you want this life, you can have it right now. So why wait? Pack your bags. Pack your car. Let's go. If you like what you see, please press like. And for sure, please subscribe. It's the lifeblood of the channel. And hit that bell thing so you don't miss any of our great videos. And most of all, please leave a comment. Do you like our videos? What could we do better? Do you enjoy seeing us travel? Where should we go next? A million things. Just let us know. Well, this is Tim Painter for The Van Life, wishing you all a very good night.